Life Unrehearsed, brought to you by Leannis Senior Transition Support, specialists in home care and senior residences. Matt Del Vecchio here, specializing in home care and the senior living industry. And talk about Don't Stop Me Now. My next guest is a true inspiration who didn't stop. And I'm delighted to have with us Dr. Elham Amami, a trailblazer in the field of dentistry and academia. She brings a unique perspective to her role as the head of the Faculty of Dental Medicine and Oral Health Sciences at McGill University. Her journey to this position is not only marked by academic achievements, but also by her image immigration to Canada. And today she's going to share insights into her background, her pioneering role as the first woman dean at her faculty, the changes she's initiated during her tenure, and her inspiring legacy gift to McGill. Dean Amami, welcome to Life Unrehearsed. Thank you very much, and thank you for inviting me. A happy Easter to uh, all of you. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thanks for joining me in studio here on uh, on a Sunday, a very busy uh, time for you and a long weekend. So I do appreciate this, and it's so important to get the word out, and, and your, your story truly is inspiring. So tell us about your background and your immigration to Canada. Thank you. I'm a dentist, a Persian, and born and raised uh, in Tehran, Iran. I uh, did uh, my primary and secondary school in a French Catholic school uh, in Iran, and this influenced me later to move to Montreal and enjoy the Francophonie at Montreal and the Quebec lifestyle. So I moved to Canada in 2002, and I started my journey as a new immigrant by being a student. So I went to Université Montréal to be trained as a specialist in prosthodontics and also at the same time I did a master in uh, science. Uh, I did clinical research and I uh, prepared and uh, passed my equivalency exam to be able to practice uh, in Canada. And at that time I realized I really enjoy research, I really enjoy uh, academia. So I decided to uh, do a PhD in biomedical science and this is where I was trained mainly at McGill, uh, and uh, then at the end of this program, I was lucky enough to get an offer to become a professor at uh, Université Montréal in 2009. Uh, at the same time, I was really uh, honored to uh, receive, uh, as also the first uh, v- a woman dentist, a prestigious clinician scientist award from the Canadian Institute of Health Research that uh, gave me the opportunity to do uh, further my education. I did two postdocs in cancer epidemiology and also dental public health. And now I'm very, very honored and pleased to serve as a dean at my faculty at McGill University. And it's amazing to hear how you started uh, immigrating to Canada 2002, worked your way up, got experience, continued your education, and in 2018 became the Dean of the Faculty of Dental Medicine and Oral Health Sciences, and I might add the first women dean, so congratulations on that. How does it feel to be the first woman dean of the faculty? I feel really privileged and proud. In fact, a women in leadership position could serve as role models for other women, younger generation, inspire them, and show that our performance and leadership capacity is not really gender dependent. The driver of our uh, leadership is really our ambition, our hard work, and our good work. So. You know, and as I'm listening to you, um, and I, as I was talking to you off air a couple of months ago, we had Gina Cody on Life on Rehearsed, and her name is the Gina Cody School of Engineering and Computer Science at uh, Concordia. So good on you. Um, we need a lot more of that. And, and here's, uh, if we've got a little soapbox here to uh, get the word out, and uh, you are a true leader for that and well-deserved. And um for our listeners, if you can give us an idea, and I'm, as you're listening to Life on Rehearsed, Matt Del Vecchio here, and I'm talking to Dr. Elham Amami, the Dean of the Faculty of Dental Medicine and Oral Health Sciences at McGill. And uh, Dr. Amami, you know, you've made a lot of changes in these five years, 2018, which I understand. Another congratulations are in order. It was renewed for another five years just last fall, I understand. So congratulations there. So what's, what are some of the changes that you made during those past five years? Um... 
In fact, we started by uh, providing with our team leaders and in consultation with our faculty a five-year strategic plan because we wanted to enhance our education and training, bring digital technology, change the curriculum that address the need of our population and not really elders population. So we wanted to uh, add to our existing uh, curriculum a geriatric uh, curriculum and then uh, also expand our community services that is uh, in fact the flagship of our faculty and wanted to promote research that uh, has a real impact on the society. Uh, so first thing uh, that we did, uh, we thought that we have to change the name of the faculty that was previously dentistry because really dentists are going beyond their chair. I wanted to show the impact of research uh, and the research that we are doing at McGill and at our faculty uh, to uh, advance the society. And uh, one of the uh, aspects that I work a lot and I advocate for this is uh, diversity, equity and inclusion and we wanted really to raise awareness and to provide vehicles that can address disparity in different contexts. So uh, we put in place uh, different uh, strategies such as uh, the admission, uh, different admission pathways for indigenous, black and recently rural and remote population. And also I'm very proud to say that we recruited for the first time uh, two tenure track faculty, mm. autistic standing researcher from black population and this is uh, quite unique in Fantastic. Canada in faculty of dentistry. Uh, in the side of service to the community, uh, our uh, faculty has a very comprehensive program and uh, in, uh, we wanted just to expand it. And I'm very, very excited to share the very good news that we will open our fully renovated and expanded community clinic in Welcome Hall Mission in May soon. Uh, and at the same time, we establish a new project, Dom Amazon project, that with collaboration with the ministry uh, beside other initiatives that we have and uh, other way that we are uh, doing training of our students the time is short so I go just highlight uh, some of our work and some of the change that we have done and our research capacity we really wanted to have an interdisciplinary research and promote this interdisciplinary access and interprofessional work and this is how uh, we, we promote it and I'm very proud that uh, mentioned that now we are listed on the top 50 faculties mm. around the world because of our work. Tons of great work. And that's in the first five years. You've got another five years, <laughs> uh, Dr. Amami, and, and you've got a full slate. We don't have time to talk about this Dans Ma Maison project. And Dans is D-E-N-T, the French word for, for tooth. We're going to have you back and to talk Thank about you. that. It's aimed about mobile dentistry to seniors, underprivileged people who cannot get to a dentist. I'm very anxious to he hear how that turns out. It's in the uh, research stage right now with a lot of prospects. Now, we only have about 30 seconds. Your legacy gift to McGill, so important. Tell me about that and um, why it's so important to give back to the community. So as a dean, uh, I have become more and more aware of the needs of my students and our faculty and how is the importance of donation. And this kind of legacy donation or gift planning uh, for the continuity of our work. And I was inspired by uh, my father that uh, mm. I learned from him to be generous and keep my integrity. And also previous dean of the faculty, Dr. Bentley. And I wanted to thank uh, now uh, all of the donors of the faculty, including many foundation uh, and also our alumni and our supporters and friends and all around the board. Well, Thank good, you. Good for you. And, you know, this is a trend. I'm also on the board of Nova West Island. There are more legacy gifts being given out there. It's very smart. It is so helpful for many organizations. And congratulations to you. It's a very noble gesture on your part. And good on Dad, too, for setting the, the pathway for you uh, as you well. Thank you All right. Thank you, uh, Dean and Mammy, for coming on the show. 